Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So this is sort of a special video that I had to do immediately once I actually saw the article, but we have seemingly got a scene description, at least from Michonne's final episode, and I think it really, really hints at her discovering that Rick is alive. I really don't think it's much of a stretch, and I'll explain why in a second. Just the way the article describes the scene, describes the setting, and based off of some shots we have in the trailer, I actually think it makes a lot of sense. And it seems like her final episode is going to be really, really amazing. I mean, just based off of that scene description anyways, I'm just over the moon excited. I really, really am super excited. So of course, before going any further, I do have to warn you for spoilers for the mid-season premiere of The Walking Dead and also potential spoilers for Michelle's final episode. I'm not exactly sure if this article is right, but I mean, they've been right in the past whenever they go to like the sets of actors that are leaving or whenever they're just on the set of The Walking Dead, it seems like they're, for the most part, it seems to be right. I remember when they did something with Andrew Lincoln. I'm pretty sure the scene they described is when Rick is walking on top of all those bodies, which was also a very key scene. But yeah, this one here though, I think is a little bit more spoilery because of how they describe the setting and all that. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to be a subscriber if you want more Walking Dead content like this. Again, as we ramp up towards Michonne's final episode, we have a lot of fun stuff going on right now with the Whisperers. Everyone's really enjoying the season right now, and so if you, if you want to get all my videos, all my reviews and trailer breakdowns and discussion videos, just make sure to be a subscriber. And so now just to get into the article because I'm super, super excited to talk about this. Again, I'll leave a link down below to the, the trailer where I'm getting these images from just because you'll be able to see a lot more like when you're actually watching footage of, of them moving and stuff like that and you get way more of the context. You can see more of what I'm talking about here. And I also will leave the link down below to the full article because they go into this way more in depth. Like You can actually see where I'm reading this and they also talk more about Denai Guerrero's last day on set and stuff like that, which I, I think you guys would be really interested in. So again, I'll leave the link down below. But this here is from Dalton Ross. This is from Entertainment Weekly. They posted this article today. And in the beginning here, they're kind of describing this scene. Now, I'm just going to read these first two paragraphs here because this is what is really, really interesting. The article starts off with, it's a late June afternoon at the Griffin State Probation Office and Day Reporting Center of the Georgia Department of Corrections, but this seemingly abandoned building is bustling with activity and death. The location is doubling as a research facility and infirmary for a key scene in what will serve as Denai Guerrera's final episode of The Walking Dead. And the actress who for eight years has wowed fans as Michonne, is not going out without a fight. Standing in a blood-soaked hallway filled with health-conscious posters like Clean Hands Protect Lives and Help Stop the Spread of Syphilis and Gonorrhea, Guerrera prepares for the action to come in which she will have to contend with approximately 20 advancing zombies. The scene calls for her to push eight flesh eaters down with a gurney, then stab one with her sword, kick another in the chest, carve two up, kick one, disembowel another, kick someone down again, and then stab six more. So again, it does say approximately 20 advancing zombies, but I don't think they mean it in terms of zombies are actually advancing, you know, like they're going to start running and they, they're smarter. I think what they mean is like they're advancing towards her, like they're walking towards her, they're coming towards her. So Michonne has to deal with this. Now, this does, I think, confirm that Michonne is going to find out that Rick's alive. Again, we've been talking about it for months now, for I mean, over a year, I would say, about a year maybe, since we found out that Denai Guerrero was leaving The Walking Dead. And this was even before they filmed anything, and it really comes down to the, the simple fact of if Michonne's going to leave, she's going to leave with her kids. And obviously Judith is like the star of the show. Everyone loves RJ as well. You know, they're not leaving The Walking Dead. Judith is the future of The Walking Dead. I think it's it's pretty simple. Like, they're not going to let take those characters away from the show. It just makes no sense. And so you have to have her leave without or and have it make sense in, in relation to their, her kids right because michelle would never leave her kids so that would mean a death basically for the most part right but then the question is raised well then she's gonna die without finding out that rick's alive so that can't happen because that would just be too tragic and i think a lot of people would be pissed off i'd be pissed because i'd be like well i want michelle to find that out at least just to know that happened you know what i mean but that's why i think the perfect answer is she leaves because she finds out he's alive and so she could appear in movies. This way you're keeping that character, the character of Michonne, who was massively popular around, right? This way she has a very, very good excuse to leave her kids because she's doing something very, very important. Now to talk about this scene here. It says that the location they're filming in is going to be doubling as a research facility and an infirmary. And also mentions at one point when she's attacking a bunch of walkers that she's going to push eight of them down with a gurney. So I think this confirms here that she is an, I mean, she's in an infirmary, right? The article also says that it's going to be a key scene in what's going to be in Denai Guerrero's final episode of The Walking Dead. Why would she be there of all places? Like, we know she's going with Virgil somewhere. They're going to this naval base. Well, what I think is happening is 
she's actually going to go to this infirmary and she's going to find Rick's clothes. Like Rick's old clothes that are all blood soaked and stuff like that from after what happened to him on the bridge. I think what happened is when he was taken away on the helicopter, he was taken away to this location. This could have been an old research facility. And I mean, it's, it's an infirmary that it could be tied to the A and B stuff. As literally what the article says, it says the location is doubling as a research facility and infirmary. We also have this shot here of Michonne and she's crying because she found something or it looks like she's holding something. So I think she goes in there and she sees Rick's old clothes. It could be crazy. This might not be what it is, but I feel like she's going to find the clothes that he was wearing where obviously he was, remember he was all covered in blood and she's going to be like, why are those clothes here? Like he was wearing those clothes on the day he died. And I think she might find his, his badge or whatever and other things there, which will confirm to her that Rick survived the bridge explosion was brought here and then yeah i don't know what happened to him afterwards i think that definitely that will fill a lot in for the movie because the movie it might not show us that we might just see what rick's been up to i mean we don't know when it's set we don't know if it's going to be set six years prior to season nine i guess or when like rick left anyways or if it's going to be set say currently right now rick's been with the crm or whatever for like six years at this point and you know what i mean so i think this is roughly what's going to happen because if you actually look at the description of the set here it says a research facility and infirmary like why would why would michonne be here in this place it makes no sense well i think i found it out just based off of some of the footage that they've already released now this is just my prediction but i think this is going to be the order of of how it's going to appear in the episode it could be a little different but this is just kind of my opinion so i think at first we're going to get this shot here of the boat Michonne may or may not be on that boat. She might be on the boat and then she's going somewhere else or maybe that's where they're trying to get to. But then again, you see a shot like this with Michonne and it seems like, yeah, she's on that boat and she's looking at this naval base. So this is probably going to happen early on We'll probably get this shot right afterwards, like she's off the boat now, she's going to the infirmary or the naval base, I guess, or wherever the hell she's going, this facility place anyways. We then get this shot here, and it's really, really poor quality, I apologize, but I'll leave a link down below to where you can actually watch this in the trailer. It seems like Michonne is running down a hallway or something. It's red. And remember, they said it's going to be a blood-soaked hallway or something like that. The description in the Entertainment Weekly article says that she's going to be standing in a blood-soaked hallway filled with health-conscious posters and blah, blah, blah. So I think this is what's happening here. She's in this hallway. All these zombies are coming towards her. She's going to push this gurney towards like eight of them, whatever. She's going to take down all those walkers. It's going to be really, really nuts. And then we get this shot here. I think after all that's done... She's going to end up in some room or something like that. I don't know exactly how it's going to go down, but I think when she's in there, she's going to find Rick's old clothes, his badge, or just whatever he had on him, which basically confirms that Jadis, this helicopter person or whatever, after they rescued Rick from the bridge explosion, they actually brought him here, and this is where they healed him. They did some tests on him, maybe. It does say it's a research facility and and uh, infirmary, right? So they probably healed him here, did some tests on him. Again, it's probably connected to a lot of the A and B stuff. That stuff we're going to find out in the movie. They might actually tease a little bit here in this episode, which will hype up this movie. Because again, Michonne's likely going to be either in that first or second movie. So this episode is also probably going to drop a lot of teasers for what the Rick Grimes movie is going to be about. But I think the reaction here of Michonne is, I mean, she just found out that Rick's alive and she's crying. She found either his clothes, parts of his boots or something. I don't know exactly what they did, but I'm sure she's going to find his whole outfit there. It's probably going to be on the ground or it'll be it's something like that anyways, which confirms that he was brought here. He was probably healed. I mean, his body's not anywhere around. It's not like he died here in this place. He's not a zombie or anything. He survived. He was brought here. But now where is he? And I think she's going to be crazy upset and freak out. And this is where I think this will come out because I think she's going to be very, very angry and pissed. We're going to see all these flashbacks to when Michonne was really angry and handle her anger in really crazy ways, like in, in season three and all that. And then we're going to get this really badass looking Michonne here, and she's just going to be really, really pissed. She has that bandana or headscarf on, and now she's just, I mean, no one wants to screw with Michonne at this point, right? Like, she is pissed off. Like, Rick has been alive this entire time. Who has him? Why hasn't he returned yet? Like, she has so many questions. She needs to solve this. And so you get shots like this of her in this wooded area. This is likely after she already left the naval base and she could be returning back to Alexandria. Again, she's going to want to learn some more information, so she's probably going to stay at this place for a bit. Somehow we're going to have to have a goodbye with all of our characters, though. I hope it's not over the radio. That's the one thing that I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that she actually goes back and we see her with Judith and we see her with Daryl. She tells them all that Rick's alive. I found his clothes. He survived that. And we see Daryl's reaction to that. And like, oh, I'm just getting goosebumps already just talking about it. But I think this is what all this means. I think it's going to be Michonne traveling back afterwards because she found all this out. 
she has maybe some information on where he could be and all that and then we get this amazing shot here of Michonne with Lucille maybe it's the real Lucille maybe it's not the real Lucille I have no idea but I think this is probably real and this could be happening at some point in episode 12, I don't, I'm not exactly sure of the context. I don't know who she has the, the bat towards. I really have no idea, but it's possible that maybe this is the bat that in this shot here, you can see Negan has a bat. Maybe it's the same bat. Somehow Negan gets it from Michonne afterwards. I don't, I don't, I don't really know if that's fully connected there. It seems a little weird timing wise. That's a lot to fill in an episode, but I think for the most part, that's roughly what is going to happen in my opinion. This article, I think basically confirmed that for the most part. And obviously we don't have any footage. We have nothing to confirm this right now, but I mean, if this is going to happen in like what, under three weeks now, I think we all have to get super excited because we might actually learn some Rick information. We might actually get that, which would be pretty exciting because we haven't gotten any in a very, very long time. And that might have been, that honestly might be why Gimple has just been very quiet on it because he wants everyone's like, you know, he wants the anticipation to build up a lot and it will with this episode. I'm just, oh, I, I hope this is real. I mean, it's from Entertainment Weekly. It's real. And I, I just hope my predictions are right. I just, I think it makes sense if she's an infirmary. We saw Rick on, like, I guess a gurney, right? It makes sense that he would have been brought here, and they would have taken his clothes off, obviously. They're all soaked in blood. They would have took all his clothes off, chucked him to the side or something like that, gave him something new to wear, cleaned him up, healed him and all that. And then, I mean, it's been six years. Obviously, he wouldn't be laying there for six years, so something else happened to him afterwards. We're going to explore that in the movies, but there's going to be, like, a trace of him there. She's going to find his old clothes there, all old and stuff, and just maybe he'll have his badge with him, or I don't know what he's going to have with him, but yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. But I'm dying to hear what you guys have to say about it. Post all your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Make sure to be a subscriber if you want more walking to content like this, and I hope you guys all enjoyed the video.